Hello again and welcome. Just doing a top down shot again. Got the idea from again Reef Girl R W -E F G W -R, R L in Canada. At the moment at least I'm using a a Ferrero Rocher old canister container. Not very good because I've had to turn all my recycle uh, recirculation pumps off because I was fighting the, the flow before. Got a few new additions. These are, these two you've just seen here are Zoa frags, and my God, aren't they tiny for what they cost? Disgusting price. Those are the two hammers at the bottom, they've settled in nicely and that's, uh, I think that's an A-can down there as well, one of the ones I bought. Um, I got these from a mail order, well I got it mail order, you can visit, but since it's up in Scotland it was mail order for me. And uh, impressed with the, the speed of service, the way things were packaged, everything was really just totally professional. Definitely want to use them again. This is the papaya clove. The main head there is beginning to open out. One of the reasons I want to take this to see how many heads are actually there. Um, I think possibly, I think I've counted definitely seven but there may be up to ten but it's very difficult with the the flow going all the time. So I thought I'd just try and take this top down. He's going to be an absolute beauty when he gets bigger. I saw him in the, the fish shop in their display tank and my word absolutely beautiful. Over to the Goniopora. Doing very well, very very pleased. We've lost so far at least the orange head brass. Uh, when I say lost he's not out of the tank, we searched high and low. He was there in the morning, we went out for the day, came back and I count the fish as soon as I come back and I got to four instead of five. Thinking, Hang on a minute, there's one missing. And lo and behold, it was the uh, orange head wrasse. Now I understand they can disappear for up to two weeks at a time. Well, this is day three, so we'll see what happens. Nothing I can do about it. That's another small frag down there. And also further down... I think I can move this over far enough to show it actually, let's see, over there, that one, that beautiful, beautiful, on the right of the and I just bought mail order as well, and one behind it, another Zoa behind it, but look at that beauty, it's not showing it as well as um, I would like it to on the camera, but maybe when I actually look at it again, um, as you look at it, it might actually show it in better detail, but absolutely popping colour, I was very pleased with that. And they gave me a freebie, bless them. Didn't want it. I was going to throw it in the bin. But I thought I'd just chuck it in here and see what happens. If it gets too big, it will be out like a shot. Where is it? That thing. That's an SPS. I really don't want SPS. Uh, so that would just have to do what it's going to do. But apparently when I, I looked at the website and saw what it was, um, it's one of the easier to keep SPS. I don't need to do anything to it so it can stay in there. But it's, it's not something I'm particularly looking for. And then we have this other clove polyp, again from the top, it really looks superb. We are considering moving it so that it's more of an angle so we can potentially see more of the, the polyps from the front rather than just from the top. Just look at that, absolutely incredible. And it's not open fully yet by any means, lovely. And then this was the other thing we bought, was um, uh, three, effectively three head. Uh, frog spawn, he's just really beginning to open out. He's opened out a little bit yesterday, but not that much. But the colours on this are incredible. Without the, the lens on, you can see the um, well blue tips, effectively. They look pretty washed out under this. This is um, a D&D &D lens I have on here. This is a yellow lens. It comes in a pack. Three lenses, an orange lens, a yellow lens, and a macro lens. If I put the orange lens on, it doesn't work well. If I put the orange and yellow on, dreadful. So yellow only seems to work with the way these lights are set up. 
if I try the macro lens that doesn't at the moment at least work I'll have to find some something to really look at but the green in that frog spawn is utterly beautiful so I'm waiting for that to open up now for the price of this I was well impressed for the size really was what else do we have I don't think you can probably see it there too well there's a little orange encrusting I can't remember what you call it now with that beautiful orange on it but look at the size of the thing tiny minuscule I'll be dead by the time that gets to a decent size there we go hope you've enjoyed this if you have don't forget to as they say like and subscribe if you so wish and if you don't like the video vent your frustration and hit that dislike button twice bang bang See you on the next one.